Patrick, how difficult is that result to take given how dominant you were in the games at times? Yeah, I think that almost sums up the season a little bit. Um, look, we created a lot of chances and if we scored the first goal, then I think we'd probably go on to get a couple. Um, but we know what they're like and once they got the first goal, they're obviously very, very tactically sound defensively and um, just made it difficult. And in the end, we didn't have the answer. And I think kind of we kind of tailed off a little bit in the second half. How difficult is it to put your finger on why you don't have the answer in these games? Because you've got so much talent up front yourself. Obviously, you know, you've done this in the Premier League before, but when it's just not working, it's not clicking and you're not clinical enough. Yeah, I think sometimes it's just that. Some days it, it just doesn't click. And as I said, we did create a good few like clear chances in the first half and one of them has to go in. And it's just you can have days like that and um, you can have days where all of the chances go in. So we've just got to try and make sure that we have more of them days than the ones we had today. I know Jesse wasn't happy that the, with the goal because there was a question of, of offside when that free kick was awarded that, that led to it. Is that a frustration in the dressing room? To be honest, I didn't, I didn't realise that that was a possibility. But um, it's just we've got, we've got to kind of stick to our jobs there and it's free man on the edge of the box, which, which can't happen. And um, yeah, really, it's a, it's a cheap goal to give away. Seven Premier League games without a win. What, what needs to change, obviously, apart from the obvious, apart from those results, to, to get things clicking again? I think Jesse just said it in there that we need men to stand up and, and be counted for. And uh, fortunately, in our dressing room, uh, we've got a few people who've been through this before and a few experienced players. So we kind of know what we need to do. And uh, we just dragged the young lads with us. And I think hopefully we'll be fine. And the, away from the result today, I mean, you spent a long time here, didn't you, as a, as a boy at Nottingham Forest? And a lovely touch from you, Patrick, coming out with flowers for your late godfather. Yeah, I mean, it was one of them things I, th I actually thought that Forest as a club would do something, con considering it was his anniversary yesterday. Um, but obviously, he's a really close family friend of mine, and um, I know his Michael and Helen were here watching today, so that was kind of more for the support for them. But also, um, I think if it wasn't for him, then Forest might not be where they are today. So uh, I think everyone owes a lot to him at this club.